What's up, Famous Birthdays? It's Nick Sterniolo, and I'm going to be answering some questions for you guys today. Uh, first question, do you have any hidden talents? Um, I wish I had a hidden talent because I feel like it's such an easy way to make small talk. Like if you're at a party or an event or you're meeting someone for the first time, showing them a hidden talent is such like an easy way to like break the ice. But I don't have any hidden talents. I'm so boring and it's extremely upsetting. I think about it every day. Um, if you could meet any three people that are alive, who would you want to meet? Probably Billie Eilish, Doja Cat, and Ariana Grande because they're my three favorite artists. So the three of them in a room and with me, having a conversation would be fantastic. I'd love to have that conversation, it would be insane. Um, if you had a dream vacation, where would you go? And what would you do? My dream vacation would probably be, honestly right now, anywhere out of the country. Because I'm only 18, so I haven't been to that many places out of the, like I've never been out of the country, but I've been to like California and Florida and all of New England, because I'm from New England, but my dream vacation honestly would be anywhere like tropical or fun outside of the country. I think it'd be really fun. Um, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of, the, of your life, what would it be? The one meal I'd probably eat for the rest of my life, if I could only have one, would probably honestly be like a nice spaghetti and meatballs or like a pesto rigatoni. Something with pesto, I love pesto. I love all Italian food, so as long as it's something Italian, as long as something Italian, I'd be game. So, that's that. If you were stranded on an island, what three things would you bring? Answer this question, a pilot, a plane, and a blanket to keep me warm while I'm waiting for the plane pilot to get here. That's my, that's the number one answer. You know what I mean? If you can bring anything, no one said you can't bring an escape. So that's my argument. What are your favorite movies of all time? Uh, Every single time this question gets asked, like my favorite artist, favorite music, the, every single piece of knowledge slips my mind. But I'd have to say, I always say Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph's a great movie. So I'll go with Wreck-It Ralph. Super boring, but Wreck-It Ralph. What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? My advice is like the two C's, confidence and consistency. As long as you believe in yourself and you're confident with what you're posting, other people are gonna feel that confidence through the screen and they're going to feel engaged into your content. And co consistency is super important because whatever you're trying to grow on, the platform will recognize your consistency and be excited about it and show your posts to more people. So consistency and confidence. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve Oh, it's a great one. My biggest pet peeve is really weird answer. Probably no one will ever say this, but birds. Birds really scare me. They're one of my biggest fears. So like when I'm like at an outdoor cafe or something, if they're like at my feet, I get really scared. And I'm also scared of like dead birds. It's one of my biggest fears. So like it's not really a pet peeve, but I get really scared when I cross by like a dead bird on the street or like a bird on the street it really freaks me out. If you could pick any superpower, what would it be? If I could pick any superpower, I'd probably honestly go with Violet from The Incredibles. Her powers are really cool. She's got like force fields and she has invisibility. I'd love to be invisible. I'd feel so incognito and like sneaky. It'd be very fun. But I also would like um, telekinesis would be pretty cool. Sometimes like when I'm in my bed, I wish I had telekinesis. I could like lock my door with my fingers or something. I don't know. What's your favorite video you've ever posted? Um, Oh wow, one of my favorite videos we Chris ever posted was the R. I'm a triplet YouTuber with my brothers. So my favorite video that we've ever posted is probably Are We Overrated? We go over like, um, if something's under overrated or perfectly rated, and I think it's hilarious and I enjoyed filming it a lot. So are you overrated? Are we overrated? When was the time in your life when you felt you were at a crossroad and how did you decide what to do? Wow, this is a difficult question. A time in my life I was at a crossroad. I feel like every single decision to me seems like a crossroad. I know that's so dramatic, but I feel like every single time there's like a decision placed in front of me, I'm really trying to strategically think of an answer before acting on it. So I'd say like any crossroads you face or like any um, obstacles, think about the best possible outcome and how to get there. I feel like is what I usually try and do. If you could describe yourself in four words, what would they be? I'd say funny, loud, Crazy, a little crazy, and caring. Well, that was me answering questions for famous birthdays. I'll see you guys later. Peace.